What's up YouTube? This is Kevin from Cross Sign Entertainment and Team Neo. Today I'm going to be bringing you a deck profile of my one of my agent decks. This one revolves around the Herald of Perfection. So let's get right into it. First off, three Herald of Perfections. This is the main focus of the deck. Um, Special summoner with ritual card in defense mode mainly because it has 2800 defense. Uh, whenever a spell, trap card, or monster effect is activated, discard one fairy, light fairy from your hand, negate and destroy that monster, that card. It's really good for control <coughs> and basically it shuts down decks. Three Master Hyperions. This is the power of the deck. Um, once per turn, banish a light fairy from your graveyard, blow up a card on the field. This works very well while perfection is on the field because you're constantly putting fairies in your graveyard. And it's easy, really easy to special summon. Just banish a agent monster from your hand, grave, or field. Special summon him. Tethys, Goddess of Light. This is really good in this deck because one sacrifice, 2400. Um, whenever you draw, if it's a light fairy, you can reveal that and draw again. This wins the game. If perfection's on the field, while you have this, you almost have unlimited targets to negate whatever you want. So you just negate whatever they activate and run over them. BLS, because there's lots of darks and lights in this deck. Um, he can attack twice per turn if he destroys a monster, or he can banish any monster that he wants. So, yeah. Three, Manju of 10,000 hands. <clears throat> um, this lets you, when you summon, you get either the a ritual spell or ritual monster to your hands. This is really good. He's level 4, too, so... Combined with the level 2's in this deck, you can use him for ritual summoning as well. 2. Dijin, Releaser of Rituals. Um, you can search him out for Tour Guide. He's a Dark Fiend. Um, he's got 2,000 defense, so it's pretty high defense. When you use him to ritual summon Perfection, as long as Perfection is on the field, um, your opponent can't special summon, so it basically turns perfection into Christia. Two Herald of the Orange Lights. Um, I use this because it's a tuner for one. Um, two, if you don't have perfection on the field, he can negate um, monster effects by discarding this in one other fairy. He's also two stars, so. He's really, um, really works well when bringing out perfection to the field. Two, Agent of Creation Venus, level three, so it works well with Dijin and the other level threes in this deck. Um, pay 500 life points, special summon Mystic Shambhal. Um, really good for making gachi gachi and having um, higher attack to run over stuff with. Two, Age of Mystery Earth. Um, this lets you search out um, Venus or Jupiter from your deck to add it to your hand. Also, a Tuner and Level 2. So, works well with the Level 4s to get out Perfection, and you can banish him for Hyperion. Same with Venus. Two Tour Guides. This lets you search out. Search and special summon Dijin from the deck or a tour guide or Sangan. Um, if you have the ritual spell and perfection in your hand, when you have this in your hand, summon this, bring out Dijin, ritual summon perfection, they can't special summon at all anymore. So, yeah. Jupiter, just because he's another agent to bring a Hyperion, he's got decent attack and he's level four. So, 
Sangin just lets you search out anything in this deck basically besides Jupiter and Venus. So this lets you get Manji to your hand if you need it, Dijin to your hand if you need it, Tour Guide, anything. Honest because he's honest, he wins duels, he's level four. Uh tribute this or discard this from your hand when you're uh, during the battle and you target a monster you control and it gains the attack of the monster that it's battling for the turn. Morphine Jar because when you are out of monsters on the f in your hand for t perfection targets set this get five more. Max C lets you draw every time your opponent special summons during a turn, let you get lots of cards to your hand if they go off. And that's it for the effect monsters. For the normal monsters, we just have the three Mystic Shine Balls. The special summon with Venus to make Gotch Gotchi or Dark Mist if you really need to. On to the spells three Dawn of the Heralds. This is the ritual card used to special summon um, Herald of Perfection. And after you special summon with this, you can banish this from your graveyard to get one of the uh, one of the tributes back to your hand. So it's really good. Staples, I have Monster Born, Dark Hole, and Book of Moon. Self-explanatory there. Pot of Avarice. Um, this lets you take five monsters from your graveyard, shuffle them back into your deck, and then draw two cards. Um, basically no explanation needed for that. Uh, one day of peace. I only run one because... It's not that great of a card, but if you just need another card in your hand or you don't want to take damage for a turn, one day piece. And on the traps, all I run is three royal decrees because I don't need traps. This does um, half the work of perfection for you when this is on the field, nor the traps work. So that's about it. On to the extra deck. I run two gachi gachis. Um, when this is while this is on the field, it, um, all monsters you control gain two hundred attack and defense for each material on that. So that's four hundred. Uh, Utopia for when you get into like situations where you need a strong monster or you're afraid of big monsters attacks you just need some time to stall so you can get your stuff out. Gemini Pearl just because it runs over 2500s like Shein. Dark Mist takes uh, three level two monsters um, when you when he's attacked or is attacking, you can detach um, material from it, and it basically just beats whatever it's battling by a hundred attack points. So this gets over anything you want to. Um, also run a Stardust Dragon because he's level eight, really easy to bring out with um, Harold. Oh. Herald of Orange or Earth and two other level threes. Um, this effect's busted. And I also run Digusto Phoenix, which is a level two rank XYZ monster. It combos well with either himself or Stardust Dragon. So yeah, that's about it for the extra deck. Um, also. Uh, Wind up Zen Mains is good if you 
have nothing and you just need to sit on something while you're, you get your stuff out. A Leviathan Dragon, because he's another main source of power in the deck. So yeah, that's about it. That'll do it for this deck build. Um, if you have any comments or questions, just uh, leave a comment down below and we'll get to you. Hope you enjoyed this and we'll see you next time.